Okay, so these are another flintlock unit. So this is my Dwarf Jaeger. Uh, again, I painted these quite a long time ago, really enjoyed them, and they essentially painted themselves. I do really like flintlock dwarves. Um, so these ones have got bottle green and crimson red uniforms. Uh, they're a bit more rough and ready than the guard. Again, these guys are very elite because they are Dwarf Jaeger. Uh, they're highly trained uh, light infantry. Okay. <clears throat> so what do you get in there? You get your normal troopers. You also get a leader, a sergeant, and a um, musician. So no standard bearer in this one because they're a light infantry unit and light infantry generally don't use a standard. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you a few of them individually. So let's try and get this lighting a bit better. That's better. Okay, so again, they're quite small. They're mounted on 25mm bases, so they're probably about 25mm tall without the hats. Um, again, big hands, big feet and big heads and big hats so everything about them is big except their legs and torsos but I really like that again the smooth sculpting style really makes these paint themselves you can go to town on highlights and stuff like that just going for a really cartoony look and I like that it's not too pretentious or anything like that it's just they're nice models that look cool once you've painted them up. And there is detail there. Stuff you can pick out. Like these are Krautian dwarves, and there's a little K on their hat. Okay. I take the opportunity sometimes, if there's a big flat section, I might put a symbol on it myself. So yeah, the horn's a bit crude, but it does the job. It just looks battered. And it doesn't bother me. As long as it paints up nicely, I do not care. This guy's great. And the sergeant here with his blunderbuss. I love these bobbles on all their heads. I love them. They're great. This guy with his peg leg. There's actually there's a better example of that. Here's one. So this is what I mean. I'll put my own symbols on big flat sections sometimes just to break the unit up a bit and give it a bit of variation. Okay. There's quite a lot of individual characters in this unit actually. Normally it's limited to kind of three or four command figures and then three or four, well three troopers. Whereas for this one I can count a few more. I'm not sure I'd, I'd need to actually sit and count them. So this guy, he had one eye closed so I've done it as a big black eye. Just as a bit of detail and he's smoking his cigar there. He's got one hand wrapped up in a bandage. His uniform's all tattered, he's got patches on it. Seam opening up there, he's got held up with a uh, piece of rope. I just thought he looked really battered, and his hat's wonky, so I really like that guy. This guy's really diminutive, he's much smaller than the rest, so... Um, in Flintlock you choose traits and flaws, so one of his flaws might be that he's not as strong as the rest. And this guy gritting his teeth, it's great. 
And they've all got all these bags and stuff like that. And there you go, there's the symbol again. So there we go. What have we got? We've got... I can't remember if I showed you this guy. Yeah, I did. So you've got one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, you've got five trooper poses, and then one, two, three command poses. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so cheers for watching this one. Like I said, there's a lot more of these videos coming up. And I'm sure if you give them a view, I'll see you soon. Cheers for that, guys. In a bit.